All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, gonna have some fun again today, working on the 69 Charger. Uh, it is not a very nice day outside. You can see here it is currently about zero degrees Celsius and raining. So snowmobile trails are closed. So I'm in the garage working on the car. So before we get into installing this, I'll show you the kit that I bought. It's the OER um, body roof rail weather strip kit from Classic Industries. Again, as you all know, everything that I buy and install in the car, I will tag it in the description. So check it out down there. All right, so the first thing to do is figure out which side goes where. And you'll notice that the Weather strip itself has these notches cut out at the front and up at the the back where it starts to come back down to the sail panel. They correspond with these little tabs that are punched out of the metal here. And that means that this is the driver's side, I hope. Um, I'm going to start up here, the top of the A-pillar. And you'll notice that the outside of the weather stripping has this little tongue and the inside has this groove and that'll fit neatly into this channel and actually pinch the, the corners. So to start, I will position this and find my little tool. Why do I keep losing all my tools? Ah, little pry bar, it's not sharp, works fine. And Align the corner with the corner. There. I'm going to put the, the groove over top of the, the lip here and then push the tongue piece in and up. And then for the front, I'm going to stretch it down until the notch cut out here matches up with that. I'm going to put the tongue in. And then just push the, the back side in. And there, the A pillar's done. Simple as that. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything that actually secures this very front piece here. Um, it's a flap here that goes down a little longer. I'll look into that and figure that out. All right, once we get to the top here, I will start with putting the channel that goes to the inside on the bottom of this rail in first and then squeeze the top in. It just kind of sits there and then just squeeze the top piece in to the inside of the channel on the outside piece here. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And once we get to this corner, make sure that your little notch here lines up with that tab. And same thing, I'm going to start with the corner here on the bottom, put it there, and then squeeze this up into its place. It's a little thicker, but it'll fit. There. And then here's where this changes a bit. You can see that it has a little bit of a difference to the weather strip here where the quarter window sits in its own little channel because it doesn't need to open like the door does. So I'll put that down into the back of the, 
down into the back here so it's sitting free. And then I'll start again at the top, drop it all my stuff as I go. And again, start with the bottom and squeeze the top in as I go. There. That literally took all of maybe two minutes to do. I'll take the camera and show you. How that looks. Little piece out there. It might take a little bit of adjusting, but uh, so there you go. There's the driver's side done. Now onto the passenger side. I guess one thing that's nice about the snowmobile trails being closed is that I now have room where the sled used to be. I put my ladder there, but where the sled used to be, I now have room to open my door all the way up. The reason I have room is because the sled needs some mechanical work that I can't do. Uh, involves me removing half of the sled to fix and I'm not gonna get into doing that. So I brought it to the shop and they're gonna deal with that. And I'll have the trail, uh, the sled back in a week and a half to two weeks and hopefully the trails will be open by then. So yeah. Anyways, let's get back to this and uh, set the camera up here. And we'll start working on the passenger side. Same thing as the driver's side. I'm going to start up in the corner here. And at the corner, I shall put the backing in first. And pop the front in under the lip. As the same as the other side, put the back piece in, slide the front, and work my way down. Nice and simple. Except that doesn't want to go in right. Try this again. There we go.
right, so I think I mentioned it on the other side. The corner here is built up a little thicker and uh, same with here. So, you know, it takes a little bit of pushing in and pushing around, but it'll get there. A little easier on the downspout or the uh, sail panel here. Put the bottom in and top just kind of clicks in nice and easy. Poke it in if you need with your tool. But yeah, not too hard. Is done. Now I gotta gotta change this up. I gotta get my pliers out and kind of bend that. This I might actually replace this. This one's kind of warped, but I know little parts of it need to be modified for it to fit. We'll get there. So there you go. I've got the weather strip in, in both sides. I've got windows ready to be installed sitting in the car. So that now is probably the next step. I got to get the gasket kit and the roller kits and then I get the windows in. Now with this weather stripping I can get them adjusted so they sit and seal properly and uh, go from there. So now I also have some other things that came in the mail that I get to put in now. Little things, lots of little things. Uh, I got the rear tail light gasket kit. I have the trunk sliders for the torsion bars. I've got the interior uh, trim kit for the rear window. And this actually is something I'm gonna do right now um yeah so the last thing i'm going to do today is the wind lace it is another piece of the um weather stripping and just simply slides on the back here push it in, cut it. There. Now I'm gonna probably just cut this here so it's got a little bit of an angle to it so it matches the metal. Once the uh, inside panels go on, maybe trim it again. I don't know if I have to yet. I haven't done this part. Uh, coexisting with the inside so i'm not sure but again this is another product that i got from classic industries it will be tagged in the description below uh, you can buy it by the foot or as i did by a 20 foot roll i think in the long run a 20 foot roll will be better and you know in case i need it again for anything um, but yeah you can see here it just right at the inside of the door it just pinches onto the seam and uh, yeah, adds another little piece of weather stripping, reduce the road noise, seal the door, that kind of stuff. So now behind the car, somewhere underneath there, I have the weather stripping for the doors to go around the doors themselves. I will dig that out soon and install that. Um, I'll get the gasket kits for the doors, for the windows and uh, then i'll be able to install those windows now that i've got the weather stripping installed i can adjust all my windows to fit start with 
the vent window, which I still have to tint these as well, and the driver's side window I have to still tint. Um, adjust this, adjust this to fit up in here, adjust the quarter window to fit both the driver's window or the door windows and the sail panel. So lots of work to do, lots of fun to be had. But um, I know, uh, Peter, you've been looking for the uh the rail and the weather stripping the weather stripping i'll tag again like i said in the uh, description uh i think you might have bought some stuff from martin down at uh, liberty mopars i know he's good for hard to find parts um hopefully everything's gonna work out with your build as it is with mine and uh, for the rest of you if you've enjoyed this or found it useful like and subscribe share it out if you want and uh, we'll see you all again in the next video.